Hello YouTube. Possibly for the last time I'm gonna make a a long video. <laughs> so this could be the last time that we're sitting here like this chilling and talking and listening. I'll do the talking. It is listening. <laughs> the last week of normality. The last week where you're thinking about your retirement and um, cleaning the house. <laughs> And mowing the lawn and paying the bills and watching the soaps the TV programs listening to the radio I won't be the last week that you do that but in the normality way in the just Let's kill some time, get through the day, that. The reason why next week, 22nd, 23rd of September, The reason why it's set then is man-made. We have going on at the moment both the preparation for a man-made um, thing and God's preparation. <laughs> So, if any of you watched my last video, I hope you <laughs> were in a relaxed mood and you wouldn't be able to watch it if you weren't, so. <clears throat> and obviously, I don't expect everyone to watch that because it was mostly silence. A um, bit more talking towards the end. So I'll just sort of quickly space out the events, what I did in that video. Um, I was channeling God and seeing how events are going to play out from now over the next few months and then a few months again and a bit further into the future. And I was seeing it as though I am now living, right? <clears throat> so, did I see an asteroid? No, but I've been having this thing about Elijah and and so I said asteroid and and the feeling stayed on my eyes it, it it felt like something and at the end of at the end of it I was seeing this sort of sparkly star a blue star coming and um so there is there is a, a god there is a harbinger from god there will be a sign that I'll be expecting which if I don't get, then then I'll keep waiting, right? So I, there will be a sort of a sign, and a, it could be twenty eighth of September. It could be. We we'll have to wait and see. It's not long to wait, so that's fine. So, but you know, otherwise, enjoy the last week of normality, and obviously this video. 
probably isn't going to get seen by many people in time so maybe for historical purposes it's for me maybe if this is going to be my last video I want to get get everything off my chest that to sort of finalize things and for you you know your last week but why we can be quite sure in a sense that this is the last week of normality I mean for some people normality was long ago you know if you're living in Syria or the Middle East but the main people who watch these videos are America England you know the Western world, where we have have basically kept up pretty much normality, and people just going about their day to day, thinking that oh yeah, around the corner, sort itself out. Always has done before, hasn't it? You know, you said this before last time. <laughs> okay, so you know it seems like that. But this September the 23rd thing is being set up by the by the government, secret societies, whoever, to scare the crap out of us. So they've probably got a good idea of when God's harbinger is coming. They've probably known that. And so they're going to time it so that they launch their bullshit just before the real natural event um, and they're cooking stuff up there's nothing about blood moons um, yesterday there was this sort of double crossing of the sun but it's from a satellite there was an eclipse seen from earth but not the double eclipse and I find that interesting. How is it that having all these kind of eclipses and partial eclipses? Well, maybe we always have had them. We just not notice them. But maybe the planets are going a bit like this because there's gravitational things going on. But maybe not. Doesn't not necessary. Anyway, so all these there are lots of these unnatural events going on. You know, like. Stuff being bombed in China and and it's the world powers know something's coming. They they've known it for a while and they've been hiding it from us. You know, I think the majority of people on YouTube, you know, kind of feel that. And I think when you get a majority feeling, it's kind of you know built in within us. We know we know the truth inside. Um, our souls kind of know the truth. So yeah, so I'm trying to just quickly span out the events of what I was seeing, wasn't I? Anyway, so I I can't say I did see an asteroid apart from that bit at the end. Sorry, now I'm just jumbling. Ha! Oh, cool. What a way to make a last video. <laughs> Good God! Thank God it's the last video. Uh, listen to this shit. It's because I started making a fag, isn't it? Right, so they'll launch their trickery, false messiah, and make out make out that you know. Then they'll sort of get points for predicting something coming, so that we all believe they've got it planned out I don't know the plan I don't really want to spend time thinking about it but it, the way their plan will come out it'll be very clever it's going to make us fear staying where we are and just it's going to make you're going to have to be brave to do that and you're going to have to have faith that you're doing the right thing and that's what I'm doing. So I've got faith that that is the right thing to do. And especially just what I just sat through. Um, there's no doubt in my mind 
that I'm staying here. So then, yeah, so then I think the next thing I saw was, was like, I got this impression of darkness and, and like, poison, poisoned air, you know, just hard to, hard to sort of breathe, you know, like that, um, and smoke and fire and you know no sun whatsoever no for how long I'm not sure um, and that would I would say would be due to um, cloud cover rather than you know basically just not seeing the sky whatsoever just just black and you know there was you know, when I was sitting there, like, a lot of information was going in that I wouldn't say I was receptive of, but I got a hint of what it was. And, and I guess that may come out in some dreams I have, or what, from now on I'll, I'll get some feelings about that later. But yeah, so, fighting, did feel there was a sense of fighting, so this would be... Um, after the government makes their move and after God's Harbinger. So God's Harbinger will, will be ultimately what starts it. Um, that's what will get everyone really going. The, the false messiah, messiah stuff will probably be a bit sort of half and half. Yeah. Because we can see my videos are obviously designed to get very few views. Uh, <laughs> probably something to do with the way I make them. So my videos were never intended to change anything. I think they were probably, you know, if anything, made for a few. So I should talk to you. Maybe. Yeah. So no, you have to stay. You guys got to stay. So. Don't go. Don't take a mark. Don't follow the sheep. Don't go into it. Day. Should we store some food? There might not be any. It might have already been looted by that point. So, I, I don't think I'm going to make a major effort to do anything like that unless, you know, the opportunity presents itself and it feels like the right thing to do. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily want to, I've always thought about that, you know, if the anarchy set in and you've got loads of food stored, well, if someone comes and finds it, they're just probably going to, you know, if they were, that was going on, people, oh, they've got some food, look, they never, they never seem to go hungry, do they? <laughs> So there's going to be this period, dark and maybe some poison air, and um, I mean, I mean normality. It's the last week. <laughs> it's the last week. People want to play with their <laughs> computers. Play games on their computers. Uh, 
how's this good last chat going? <laughs> not going to miss me, are you? You can see me again. Come and find me. Afterwards. So, yeah. People will fall for it. And they'll tell you you're stupid for not. They'll be absolutely convinced. Nothing you're going to say or do is going to change their mind. <clears throat> so at this point, <laughs> this will be probably the hardest point when you're thinking, what the heck did we do this for? And then, yeah, and then it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be nice in a way because it's going to be quiet. Um, no aeroplanes, car traffic noise. It's going to be very tranquil. And you can spend the time thinking about God and stuff. So then, yeah, I got, and then, you know, so I'm in England, so there's sort of snow on the ground, a thin covering of snow. Um, and it wasn't till like February. So I think then, you know, things were brightening up a little bit. Maybe the clouds weren't so black. Uh, I'm just roaming about my local area, I think. You know, seemed quite content. And then February, sort of saw some sun, and then I sort of saw some other people. So I also, I did sort of see the people as though they were huddled in locked houses, you know, everything drawn. And so I did get that sense, but I didn't see them. They didn't come out. And then February... Well, I got an idea it's February and then I sort of saw some sun and then there were people out. And then, you know, then everyone's wanting to sort of, you know, what we've got to do, we've got to cut down trees and burn wood and stuff and or we've got to hunt animals and, you know, and then I'd be going, no, you know, God's coming. We just don't kill any animals or... I don't know about fires, if they're so bad or not, but, you know, get yourself, get yourself prepared for, for God coming. Don't, you know, don't go down a slope, don't go downhill, you know, soon coming. And then, sitting in this field, so then I saw myself sitting in this field, which I've already <laughs> gone and just out over there. And I've already decided that's where Zion is. That's where I'm going to sit in the middle of that field. And it's been left. It's been left for a year or two, pretty much, just to because they're planning permission for next year. <laughs> so it's been left sort of natural. And me and my son planted some seeds over there earlier. Probably nothing will happen with them until and I saw. So I was sitting in that field and I saw a disc in the sky, and similar to the one I had a dream about a long time ago, nineteen years ago or something like that. So that's why I was having this feeling that it was two thousand and sixteen because of the moon cycle. <laughs> same every 19 years and it was that year when I was looking at the moon and I'd had that dream and there was this feeling so when that comes it'll come bigger and bigger and bigger 
be getting closer and closer and closer, but it, it was bright light and you know, there was no doubt in then that it was going to be good. And it came on and it transformed the whole earth and everyone. And then it sort of, sort of got this feeling that the the ones who had escaped were trying to get back on, but couldn't. Something going on with that. And then I sort of saw this like procession come in, music and angels, and there was a crowning, and and twelve were. There were twelve others there in a semicircle in front of me. It was like you know this is. This is basically how the world's going to work, you know, just, not like laws and foundation, but yeah, just, yeah, just, well, yeah, <laughs> foundations of what, how we're going to go forward into the future, just simple, but the fact that everyone was suddenly open, you could feel people's hearts. You could you could feel them, and um, and the world was transformed, and it was softer and all beautiful. But I still didn't have my soulmate, so and I was going to go roam the earth, find her. So that was the outlay of the video I did before. <sighs> I don't really know what to say. I think I've said it all. I mean, it does seem to be, I seem to get like, People who have stayed listening to me when I stopped talking about Nibiru and started talking about God. I don't know whether there's 20 or whether there's less, but it seemed to get, you know, because sometimes, you know, if I've clicked onto the video, that's added one view. Or, but I can also see by the minutes, so I see that there are people, there's, I reckon there's about a dozen watching all my videos so I'm glad I didn't haven't been making them for nothing so yeah last week of normality might as well do a few things I think I'm mad don't eat too much. I might um do something for my son, like he'd really like a a ride in a Ferrari or something. Maybe I can do that. I don't know. I'll hire a sports car. <laughs> Just spend some time with him, you know. Spend time with the people who who you want to. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to watch, I think. And I will, I will make, I'll make some short videos. And obviously, you know, if I am wrong. I'm I'm seriously gonna have to uh I don't think I am. They've set this day. They worked out. They've been um you know, if you watch any of the sort of 
suspicious observers or Thor news or astral traveller and I, I am subscribed from suspicious observers ages ago but you know there's quite a lot of times when it would have been really good they could have done something with some information and it got blacked out you know by NASA or <coughs> whoever Um, so they've definitely been hiding stuff from us and the, the sun, the effects of the sun the 11 year solar cycle that we've been having has got been disrupted since 2005 I think just hasn't been following any normal pattern <laughs> completely out of whack, you know, and not much has been said about that. A little bit, they said, is the sun dying? <laughs> There's that electromagnetic force which is so they've known and they've hid it from us. And Nibiru, Nibiru was the um, was the bullshit to send us off the scent. See, when I read the Bible, at the time, in my mind, I was thinking, what they're writing here must be about what happened then. You know, like Ezekiel. But, no, this end of days has been known about since the beginning. So, because they... When in the beginning they had access to information, you know, they had access to God, so they could, they could see the, you know, they could see the whole outcome of God's plan. God's plan for the, for the education of their children. So God's like, right. Well, 6,000 years seems like a good time frame to uh, initiate 25 billion souls. Yeah. And in the end time we'll have 7.2 billion souls living on the planet. And the other uh, 18 billion or so are in the spirit world. Many of them never had a life, or such a short life, it was hardly counted as a life. I think if you die before the age of three, You've had a, a sniff of the earth, but not really a taste of it. And this was all God's plan. God created the universe for this introduction into our souls. So there was going to have to be some negative stuff. I don't know if I've said this in the video, but let's just say if God's instruction was to everyone when they were born, feel five bad emotions and five good emotions and then you're ready. Now, if that's the case but we weren't told or we forgot or someone told us something different afterwards, or we were trying to do that and we kept being told not to and there are probably more than five anyway <laughs> you know if you don't feel those bad emotions then you're not going to be ready you feel all the good ones quite happy to but the bad ones we don't want to feel we're not ready so we should make ourselves ready and um, think about 
everything in your life up to this time this is this is the time we're in the birth canal and by the way it will be a lot like that when we see God coming it will be like we're being born to the spiritual world as well this is his 6,000 year plan and there may be some who don't want to come out and maybe they won't and they'll get another chance at a later time Yeah, so we're in the we're in the throes of it when the waters break. <laughs> that's it, yeah, that's quite good. When the waters break. That's the harbinger. Pew! Here we go. Down the slide. <laughs> But it'll, it'll still seem like, you know, another day on Earth. Until that transformation. That'd be cool. Yeah. Let's have a look how long we've done so far. 32 minutes, Ooh, that's not long enough, is it? Not for a last video. Not for a last one. I know I've said this before, so I know the feeling of when I thought something was going to happen and then it didn't. And I was thinking lately about, well, maybe, maybe it won't be next year. Maybe we'll seven years or something. You know, I could. So just, you know, I couldn't see how we can just go from struggling along as normal to sudden chaos. But it's coming in from all angles uh, the migrants at the moment you know that's that's quite a thing and China seems to be should we say seen scuffling in the shadows <laughs> I mean, North Korea is China's puppet, isn't it? Let's face it. See, now... They're all... aware of what's gonna happen. I don't know all their plans. I don't. And do I want to really consider it too much? I don't. You know, you can imagine the darkness that's going on there. And I don't want to. I'd rather just think about God God is the best thing. God is the only place where we'll get true satisfaction. And I kind of want to stop making this video. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I want to eat. It's going to be tough going without food. Well, pray and Perhaps God will provide. Uh, 
up now. I think if this is my last video, I should probably get this out. <clears throat> I haven't played guitar in ages now. I think if the end doesn't happen, I think I'll uh, pick up the guitar. And there are things I'd like to do. I'd like to open up a health calf. I think that'd be good. So I'm going to wait. I'll wait for the harbinger. I know I've made these videos ahead of time, but I suppose what was pushing me to do that is thinking if I don't if you know if if it is like next week that the harbinger comes at the end of september and if it and if the internet goes down and everything then then i should have must have had to make this video right otherwise what would be the point so i'm doing it ahead of time i'm not you know after what i felt earlier that is going to you know, that's going to come up again. I'm going to be thinking about different parts of that and feeling about it. But, um, you know, I'm not going to be, like, panicking and going out and buying loads of Bombay mix <laughs> and bottled water. I have got some in the house, so that's handy. I But I have decided I'm not going to... I kept thinking I was going to empty my house of clutter and chuck it all away, but to be honest, if it does happen... It's going to be handy to have bits of cardboard and paper and envelopes and, you know, because they might be useful. <laughs> bits of wood and, you know, all, like, useful stuff. And jars. <laughs> jars and, you know. So when they empty the shops, not going to be able to get them all. I mean, if the shops are going to be full, because, like, locusts are eating all the wheat.
when you start feeling, you still make mistakes. But you feel your mistakes. And that's how you learn that it's a mistake. That's how we learn, baby. It's amazing that's still in tune. Or maybe it isn't. trying to get across. Feel the truth. Not the pervading idea of the people around you. I've noticed like when I'm feeling God and I'm feeling my soul and I'm walking towards someone and I can feel them what I also get from them is their beliefs, you know, and that can range from what they believe about the world to what they believe about a guy in a beard <laughs> walking past them. So you get this influence from everyone around and it's much easier to feel the truth when you're on your own four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and you're just in your truth. Do you mind if I go and put the oven on and then just if I think of something to say? <laughs> Enjoy my last pizza. <laughs> uh. No, I haven't thought of anything. I'm probably going to stop it. Or maybe just play more guitar. Yeah, I want to make a really long one. I want to make the longest. Longest video ever. The longest, most final video.
You know if you've ever moved house and you you know you're aware that when you leave that place you know you're never going to be there again you kind of have one last look at it and think you know good times here it's been a good place It's been an interesting uh, world, and ho hopefully, you know, it will be remembered. Obviously, it's all witnessed. Everything went in the book, so it will all be remembered. So whether we have videotapes or not, <laughs> it'll be some other way of seeing things or remembering. Them. Yeah, exactly, remembering. It's quite easy. You can connect with other people and share some of the memories they have. So, uh, yeah, I guess you know, we'll remember this time. This very, very beginning period into the life of an eternal soul. You will obviously join consciousness with your soulmate eventually. You'll be one consciousness with your soulmate. You might have two consciousness. You'll be one. You'll be one. And then you'll be eternal. And then you are, you're half an eternal. <laughs> you're not eternal on your own. You're half eternal. I'm half eternal. But yeah, we'll remember this tiny little 6,000 year period when we were thrust into existence where we were before the love we our souls were made of must have existed before but God has put that love into a form that itself is in itself is an existence. And who knows what's going to happen trillion, jillion, billion, gazillion years away. Um, we've got a lot to learn <laughs> before we need to worry about that. The first lesson is love. Love, love, love. Change the words. It used to go fourth or fifth bit. Actually, it's the third or fifth. It was like this the third, the fifth. The man had fallen, a major lift. The powerful king composing. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
and did the lamb of open faith come from aside and let his grace until Jerusalem on England's green and pleasant land. Yeah. 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 Good. <coughs> then I think we're ready then. <coughs> Aren't we? It's been my favourite little jam for a while, but my fingernails aren't quite long. Blown up. <laughs> Love, not fear.
this is the end. Beautiful friend, the end. This is the end, my only friend, the end. Can you picture what will be so limitless and free, desperately in need of a Helper's hand in a distant land. See you on the other side, brothers and sisters. Love.